Hey guys, and welcome back to In Deep, in development stream that uh, just won't quit. We've decided to just keep on, uh, keep going, because why not? Uh, today we've got a special guest uh, with us, uh, who I will introduce shortly. Um, but we are, uh, you probably already know, it's Tom Ricard from Hobby, which uh, you'll be able to see, um, which uh, you might know from their website which is www.hobbyfilm.com and also their socials start with Instagram and uh, Vimeo as well. So check them out. Hello to everybody. If this is the first time that you've joined us, you can go back and watch some of the previous uh, streams that we've had. Um, we are doing this in, in aid of uh, um, Crisis. Crisis UK, which is a UK based uh, charity um, helping people uh, stuck we're in poverty and the homeless. Uh, we are raising a thousand pounds at the moment, which we are quite a good way to go. We want it, We definitely want to do it sooner rather than later. Uh, thank you to all of our um, donators so far. I see that Alex Satoyevich, thank you so much. 25 pounds donated yesterday. Thank you so much. And whoever Joe Exotic is, <laughs> I hear he's been struck down by coronavirus as well. So um, thanks, good luck. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, I wanna see this move up by the end of the stream. So please, anything that you have, I know that times are tough and everybody's terrified, but there are people who are in greater need uh, than us. If you're not in the UK, please find a, a charity to support uh, in your local area, uh, whether it's financially or just whatever you, whatever you can manage, it would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, a shout out to the chat. I know that we've got uh, we've got Ed, of course. This this guy, this guy right here, this guy. Oh. Right here. Hello, Ed. Ed's joined us today. Um, also, shout out to Lily and Kathy Wang. Hello, Kathy. Welcome back, Ali Albion. Hello. <laughs> um, Really appreciate you guys joining us again. Uh, as I said, these are the, some previous episodes. Joe, amazing. James Lovick, etc. Um, but today we have got uh, Tom Rickard of Hobby Film, and I, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Hello, Tom. Tom, you there? Hello. Hey. How are you doing, Tom? Hello, Tom. I'm good. I'm good. I've woken up to a snowy day in Stockholm which is beautiful yet depressing. Um, <laughs> all is well. Oh, good. What's, is what's... that snow that you can go and play in or are you stuck behind? Oh, no, no. It's, 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 it's slush uh, that is just making a depressing time even that little bit more depressing. Oh, no. I'm, I'm bringing full uh, positive spirits to the chat today. <laughs> <laughs> what's, um, what is the situation currently in Stockholm? Uh, like we're under lockdown this is week two for us what, do you, what what is sweden doing um at the moment how's life Sw swedish life and oddly oddly there's a sense of normalcy you know we don't have the same government mandated lockdown up here um really? a lot of recommendations and, and everyone's taking it super seriously and it's been kind of uh, working remotely for weeks and not going out but it's not the same the same restrictions so we've got a lot more freedom of movement um but they're, they're slowly bringing them in uh, more and more, more uh, restrictions. Right. Damn. How is it? Um, so can you get, go to your local bar then? Or is, is it like, if you wanted to, you could do it, but people are probably like steering clear. That's right. I mean, there's still a few people who are out and about doing that kind of stuff, but definitely yeah. in much, much lower numbers. Um, and I think a few of them have closed as well, just because they don't have the... Uh, business to kind of make yeah. it worthwhile staying. Mm. That's that's so strange, isn't it? I mean how's how has it affected 
hobby in in general at, at the moment so like what do you are you guys like still got stuff on your plate that you're busy working on uh, uh do you feel like you're as hamstrung as everybody else at the moment or what yeah definitely like i think i think we've definitely been hit by it, like I, like i think everyone else um you know we, we still do have a couple of productions in the pipeline um, you know we're still able to shoot here in stopper uh sometimes we just don't have more than 50 people gathering um Wow. So, so it's kind of weighing those options. Um, one of them is going to be taking place in Denmark. But yeah, you know, the, the boards have just dropped and not stopped. You know, this week, it, it feels like the last few weeks, everyone was kind of paralyzed a little bit. Um, what are we doing? And then this week, everyone's, I don't know, it feels like everyone's kind of thought, well, this is the new norm. How do we move ahead? So we've seen a few scripts filtering in. Um, but yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be an interesting few months ahead. Mm. Are they all li- are they live action or is, is is it a mix of live action and animation? What what sort of solutions are people uh, coming up with? Or it- yeah, it's a mix. Some of them are still live action ones that are kind of like, what? How do we do this? What what can we do? Yeah, what's possible? Mm. Um, but then Hobby Studio, which is like a little uh, sister company to Hobby Film, where we're working with people animation, that's that's seen a lot more. Uh, requests coming through there for, for quicker turnaround, uh, mm. a lot, a lot more kind of social content. Well, I guess while people figure out what to do longer term. Um, but you know, and that feels weird when you hear the rest of the world kind of stop with that. But there's still opportunities. I think you, you, you feel grateful, but also slightly uneasy as to as to why um, we're allowed to. So we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We had a phone call from from a company in Belgium and I don't, I don't know what the situation is in Belgium, but they were, they're like, yeah, nothing's changed. Everything's fine. Business as usual. <laughs> we were like, uh, <laughs> okay. Strange casual nature, wasn't it? Yeah. We, we even had a deadline as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been so funny looking in hindsight to even just a few weeks ago, when I had an email from a, a, a Spanish production company that we know quite well uh, saying, oh, look, things are, things are quite fine over here. You know, we're still going ahead and it's all good. Uh, and I think everyone had this wonderfully uh, optimistic uh, view of, of how things would play out. And now, okay. you know, now here we are and we're all going, oh, wow, that, that, really, <laughs> that really happened. That escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, That's I mean, the scary thing. It's two weeks, really, isn't it? The last two weeks is... Mm-hmm things have changed so much yeah oh damn well um thank you so much i know we've got a very limited amount of time with you because it's i I, i'm sure it's quite crazy there um trying to uh with everything that you guys have on at the moment and of course your roster has just really uh well grown exploded recently into this really amazing set of uh, creative talents um and uh yeah we well we, we've asked you just to come on and maybe talk about a couple of them uh one of which you picked out uh as elmster uh one of oscar bard's um things should we um do you want to introduce it before i play it or do you want to chat a bit before i play the first clip yeah look i think i think it's what's been quite cool for us is during this time uh, it, it's also given us a bit of a, a chance to start digging through some of the archives of the work that we've done that you know, maybe isn't so commercial based. Mm. Um, and I've been digging in as well to the rosters, uh, shorts and series and speeches and stuff like that. And I came across uh, this one of Oscars that I just, it's just absolutely uh, bizarre. Um, <laughs> So I don't know if you want to play the first part and then we can, I can uh, yeah. walk you through it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump straight into it. Here it goes, guys. Oh, 
That's the that's one of the elves' spots. Uh, welcome to Friday morning. Friday morning with uh, the rest of us is uh, have a little uh, shot. That's uh, some cough mixture right there. So um, that's what they do in the Sweden in the summer, isn't it? With, uh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, is that it, was just a Friday. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, way things are. So so Tom, you you were saying while that was playing that this is one of the first things that was being made when you joined Hobby. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was just. It's, it's an oldie but a goodie. So, so it was it was happening kind of uh, in my first year at Hobby, um, and as you can see, requires a little bit of a little bit of unpacking. Um, but it's like, so, so, so the background of it is the Elmstock Horror Fest is a horror film festival that happens each year in Stockholm, um, and was hosted by the, the former executive creative director at Saatchi in Stockholm, um, and so. Hobby had previously done one, and then, so there's a different theme each year. So one year it was an Italian slasher, uh, and then another, this year it was Hillbilly Horror. So, so uh, they got together with Oscar uh, to figure out what to do, and, and so they, they made these viral films, uh, which then led on, and that was the original brief, and then Oscar thought, well, this is too good a concept, we have to, mm. we have to make this into a short film, um, which then came along. And it was just, you know, such a such a bizarre process. Short north of Stockholm, uh, incredibly small team with no budget. Uh, street casting done, um, finding these guys. And, and Christian, the main town, that is, is an actor in Sweden. He's been in quite a big film in Sweden called The Giant or Yekta. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just, you know, being you can imagine what it was like being on set with this and, and watching this all happen. It's just... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, crazy, Very a crazy fun. summer in, in north of, of yeah. Stockholm. Damn, I love it. I mean, it's. Well, I, it, I love Christian, the, 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 the main character, I think mean, one of the greatest things from the shoot was, you know, the, the direction that he was given was like, I need, I need to hear the most uh, disturbing cackle you could imagine. I need this laugh to just be, to get under everyone's skin. <laughs> Uh, and then of course he did this laugh and everyone was like, yes, that's amazing. That's disgusting. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, and when the cameras were stopped rolling, someone told a joke and he laughed <laughs> and everyone went, oh no. Oh no. That's, that's his actual that's laugh. His actual laugh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a dirty, dirty, dark cackle. It is perfect. Uh, and so, I mean, to take sort of this, this risk, obviously, um, uh, we've seen Scandinavia has a very different, takes different risks and um, uh, has a different sense, like in terms of a sense of humor, they're, they're willing to go quite dark and push things quite far, um, which is, is just so good. Is that something that, that you get to enjoy quite often there? Or you try, do you try to sort of suggest or pollinate that beyond <laughs> Scandinavian territories with, with your work? Yeah, I, th I think you know some of the directors at Hobby just are, are so grounded in that in that kind of very dark off humour. Um, you know, one of our guys, Patrick Eklund, is just like a master at it. It's that wonderful awkward awkwardness. 
the same thing with Oscar in this one here is that it, it, it's so it's it's just wonderful, but I think it also does have limitations when when your production company who's Swedish but also international, um, because you know it doesn't always resonate in other markets. So so I think there's a mix. There's there's a there's there's times to be using it and really kind of going all in on it, and there are times to kind of soften that that side as well. Mm. Mm. Well, that's this is definitely a slice of Oscars. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's it. I mean, but as I say, you know, it was just originally started with these two short viral films, and he was like, no, 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 no. short, short. Uh, and so the guy in the hood uh, in, in the short film is, you know, the, the creative director at, at Saatchi in Stockholm, or was the creative director at Saatchi in Stockholm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was that absolute great definition of a passion project. And mm. you can see that, I think, in a lot of these things. You can tell that this was done with such care and precision despite, you know, no resources whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. I wish I wish we could see more more, uh, more of that stuff. Is, is that something that you, that you and Oscar and et cetera do, try to push for or do you just kind of wait for the opportune moments and you go, like, okay, it's time to wheel, the, wheel this crazy circus into town? I think, I mean, what I love about Hobby and what we really try to do is to, to not separate the two things, is to really try and incorporate that side of us into, into the day-to-day work that we do. So we, you know, so we don't, we don't have to just kind of see it as, oh, this is the work work and then this is the fun fun. Uh-huh. We try and we'll match those worlds together, um, which is, I think, why a lot of people come to us. You know, that's, that's the comment we get when we receive a lot of scripts. It's like, can you put that little extra yeah. touch on it? Can you put that? Crazy cackle, can you put that uh, um, hacking off? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we, and, and I think we've been lucky enough in the last few years that, that we haven't also really had the, the, the loads of time to be uh, running on those side projects. I think because we've just been so so busy for the head, you know, with, with moving into new markets and adding new directors and kind of developing. So um, maybe maybe right now is the chance for us to be. Testing out the old uh, idea notepads and seeing what can be done. Yeah. So, uh, speak- Oscar's, Oscar's work it seems to, uh, even his, like, I mean, we've worked with him a lot, but his commercial stuff, mainstream commercial stuff, seems to still pull in a bit of that kind of darkness and the character and black humor that, you know, Scandinavia is known for, like the, uh, the Russian sausage stuff <laughs> yeah the yeah the Aust- yeah, how, how do you how do you pronounce that anyway austin austin kino austin kino i believe ah wow that's that's another so that, that's another one tell us uh should we should we roll one of those and then 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 chat roll, about roll, roll, yeah roll with it. okay yeah cool here we go here's Aust- austin 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 Eno, whatever it's russian sausage <laughs> Останкина. Yeah, sorry, I think it was streaming. I think it's because my daughter's hooked on Disney Plus at the moment and just chops and changes everything. You can't ask her to put it down at the moment. So Russian sausage, tell us about tell us about that. <laughs> Yeah, where to start? That's that kind of script you see and you go, 
I have no idea what is happening in this film, but it has to be made. Yeah. That's, that's it. Uh, uh, and it's just, it's just, you know, the world's ugliest sausage. Uh, it's a really fun idea. Uh, but what's, what's amazing about that company, actually, is that the, the owner of the company uh, appointed himself marketing director. Um, and he had this very serious chat with Oscar Rauwick explaining why he did that. And he was, you know, he kind of said that no one else in my position will take the risks that are needed to be taken uh, out of fear of getting fired. So the only solution to that is for me to be in that position because I can I can do what needs to be done to get that attention. Okay. Um, and after this one came out, I think they, they had the statistics or that it was like, you know, there was an increase in sausage sales by twenty percent or something ridiculous. <laughs> um, so it had it had the intended effect and, and that whole catchphrase daddy can, daddy can, they actually became such a success in this that they then rebranded the sausage on all the packaging so it was called the daddy can sausage and it kind of <laughs> formed the basis for the next film that they did um so yeah that's it. i just love that story because you know i wish i wish uh, there were more more uh, more people in marketing and advertising who kind of thought that way and took those risks yeah and 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 obviously i mean they loved it so much that they had you guys come back again for um, the campaign that I'm playing right now, the Fury Road tributes <laughs> again, Daddy Can, <laughs> <laughs> just eating, throwing lunch and meat. Was that, <laughs> and that was it. The guys they came back to Oscar and, and said, "We've got another one. We've got another one happening." Uh, and they sh- they shot this one in Kazakhstan, so they actually dr- got these cars in Russia and then rode this convoy around. So, so in some weird places, they were driving by towns with this weird Mad Max convoy. It was, it was very meta that people were looking at and seeing them all doing it. So it was uh, fun. Wow, crazy. But but must have been so loads like of fun to work on, yeah. Or was there a nightmare being involved in, like, Kazakhstan? Or why Kazakhstan? I think Kyat was based in Russia. They had a bridge looking in Russia. Um, I, think, uh, I think it was a mix of, of locations uh, and budget stuff as well. It's just like, how can we make this? How can we make this happen? Um, and so Oscar was working with Baselems over there, who, who were great and hooking it up and getting it all set up. So it was um, it worked out really nicely. So hopefully, hopefully, there's a third one at some point down the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah the location really uh, nails it, though. the mountains and the, mm. the yeah. open desert. That's really yeah, awesome. it's great. It's really For good. Sure. Yeah. Well, what's uh, from from that? <laughs> we go to we go to Lego. You guys, um, obviously, Lego's had like a very big push <laughs> push recently, uh, which you guys have um, been a part of. Yeah, it's been great. You know, I think that's that's we do so much uh, super odd, crazy, slightly dark stuff. Um, so that's also great when you get some really fun creative stuff from Lego that, that uh, is just as fun to be doing, but without that kind of sinister edge. Mm-hmm. Should we should we play should we play one of the spots there? Uh, I think Ed Ed, you picked out the the one. Or which which one did you pick out? Yes, the um, I, I picked the one with the director, and he's. Uh, taking instruction from the, the kids I think oh really yes nice. before before we move on there just want to just call the, there's some questions in the chat actually uh, for you Tom uh, Natalie Ishak yeah. hello Natalie asks well, maybe they can't even answer that one what was the budget on that one just say low <laughs> big in rubles <laughs> uh, I can't give you an exact answer on that one uh, was- but it was Decent enough. Right. If that, there, we, there was enough to do that, but it was also not enough to do them comfortably over. That's good. So that's that a fair, a fair answer. Always yeah. a challenge. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, 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 that's the case that feels like the answer of most things these days. Yeah, because it was obviously enough to get it done. But uh, I mean, you had to build all those custom vehicles. I mean, those aren't CGI and things. That's going to be very expensive and difficult logisti- mm. logistically I, I imagine as well unless you can find a Kazakhstan junkyard creative <laughs> 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 you guys them ready 
cool okay guys yeah if you have any other questions please let us know in the thing um in the chat log and we will try to catch them uh and for, for now let's let's watch some lego this year's biggest blockbuster from the minds of kids shall we start our movie yeah, yeah. yes the scene starts on a quiet day right by the bank who are the people in the gang? Fish person. Is that two words? Fish person? Yeah. Chief. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sarah Chief. She's been in jail 19 times. Maybe she can, like, crack the codes. I'm in. So how are they going to steal all that stuff? How are they going to get it out of the bank? Use yes. a monster truck. So yeah. what are the security going to do about this? They're going to call the police to investigate it. Stop it, you bully. Stop it, you bully. Don't you like fish? Titanium fish. Sorry? Titanium fish. You've got a titanium fish? Yeah. And also it's a bomb. <laughs> she's pretending to be nice, but, like, instead she's not. What about music? Do we want, we want, do we want some music in this film? We can have some battle music. Battle music. How does that go? Can you give me an example of some battle music? Dun, 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 dun. The police officers put the candy on the floor so the wheels stop there. <laughs> then the magnet picks, up picks up. this up. Oh, no! Put me down! No! That's going to use up a lot of our budget. Which is fine. So, do you say anything cool as he arrests them? He goes, I'll see you later, ladies. Why did you do that? It's a musical. Uh, uh, why did you do it? Oh, this is a musical, a is it? <laughs> <laughs> crimes. What? Oh, actually, I've got new. Police crimes. Jewels. Robbers try to steal the back. But do they? How will your kids catch crooks with the new Lego City police sets? That's Lego. Well, one of the spots of Lego from uh, Torben. I'm not even going to try to say his last name. How do you say his last name? Torben Kjellstrup. Is that good? Kjellstrup. There we go. There we go. I've probably been saying it wrong all these years as well, but sometimes I just do it confidently and with this white Scandinavian accent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what's the story with that then? So that was that was just that was a really fun project. Uh, you know, a, a, a tricky one logistically, of course. It was quite a long time frame, um, but you know, from the beginning, it was like it, it's great when you hear you know, a producer on this from Hobby Denmark be talk about. It. She was just so ingrained. They, they, they became this project for such a long time. Um, and, and when you hear the stories that she talks about with these kids and, and how there was no there was no way at all that it could have been faked because the ideas that these came, kids came up with were just so wonderfully bizarre that it, you couldn't have you couldn't have written it, you couldn't have scripted it. Um, so, so we started by interviewing these kids, a whole, a whole bunch of them, and just sat them down and played them and kind of guided them through through the story. And, and we knew that there was a bank chase, and then we knew that this was going to happen based on on the product and the range. Um, and then they just went wild. And then, then uh, you know, it's quite interesting as well with Torben, who's such a meticulous uh, director and so just wonderful in in the details. Uh, it was a nice thing for him as well to have to kind of let go and go with their ideas a little bit and kind of take a back seat to, to, to let them driving the story piece it together yeah i mean so much so must have been so much fun getting to visualize all those crazy gems i imagine that there was quite a lot left on the cutting room floor that just <laughs> was it either too wild or did you have a ton of to, to work with yeah so so much and that was the hardest thing is like how what what gets included because there was just so much gold, it was kind of, uh, and this, you know, this was the this was the same version. Uh, <laughs> there was some even more bizarre stuff that was kind of like, 
that would be fantastic to do if it was humanly possible. However, um, <laughs> let's, let's find something a little bit more realistic. <laughs> You're telling kids, okay, guys, get realistic here. Get real for a second. Yeah, come on, come on, jump it up. <laughs> Were there any demented children? You're like, that's yeah. that's 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 sick. You you're out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really it really nails like the play, action play. Kind of like, <laughs> I remember doing this kind of stuff as a kid. You know, like you you play in the action film in your head. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, and, and that's it. You know, the lack of just any sort of logic. Uh, yeah. you know, that's why I just always say it would have been so hard to, to kind of script this stuff because it was just so absurd that, that it, it could only have come from the minds of kids playing. Very specific, like titanium fish. Yeah. <laughs> like surreal. surreal. When, they, when they dropped that it should be a musical, it was that kind of moment where everyone just thought, yes. 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 How did we not? Yeah, yes, of course. Like this. <laughs> um, so have you, are you guys hoping to do some more stuff with um, Lego once, well, in the, in the future and things? Uh, how are they as a client? You, actually, uh, don't answer that. <laughs> brilliant. They're brilliant. They're excellent clients. We're, <laughs> what a stupid question to ask. God, no, we, it, it, was, it was an absolute trick working with those guys. Um, uh, so they're fantastic and, and coming up with some really, really brilliant ideas. So um, uh, hopefully we'll see what the future holds. Yeah. Wonderful. And was that we got a question from Natalie again? Was that uh, through an agency or did Lego have like an in-house? That was through Lego's in-house agency called the Lego Agency. Cool. Yeah, I think they've they've taken over everything now, haven't they? They've in-housed their whole creative in- creative thing since since this whole rebuild your world thing. Is is that true? Is that right? Yeah, I, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't know the, the full ins and outs working of it, and I know that that first one in the, in the Rebuild Your World was done with BTC in Paris, I believe, and 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 Lego. So uh, I'm not too sure what their their long term setup is, but oh. they they do they do do a bunch of fun stuff there internally. Yeah. And so, um, but how would would you how would you sort of describe? Is there sort of a, a certain style in? in thinking of um, selling hobby as, as it's on, in sort of the marketplace? Like, is there a certain style or attitude that, that hobby has that others don't? Or would you be able to categorize it in some sort of way? That, that has been the, the question uh, mulling around in my head for years now. Um, we are, I think, I think we, we've been very organic in, in our growth and the films that we've been doing and the scripts that we've been seeing. Um, but I think it was, you know, beginning of last year, uh, as we kind of were on the cusp of signing a few new directors, we, we, we landed on this realization that we kind of jumped between two worlds. One side is that very visual international comedy side. Uh, and then the other side is that more kind of cinematic storytelling, uh, where you have directors like, uh, like Torben, Vesta Mining and Bjorn Ruben and Rodrigo, uh, Martin Alman. So it's, it's, it's wonderful mix. Um, and we try and have, you know, we, we try and keep this roster with a nice spread of, of talent and have the, you know, the individual strengths and skill sets, but there's still that red thread that, that kind of ties the hobby roster together. Mm-hmm. And I think that's, that's the harder thing to describe. Yeah. And I really identify what that red thread is, but you, you know when you see it, or at least we feel that we know when we see it. Instinctual, yeah, it feels, it feels very present in in everything that you guys work on or, and the people that the guys on your roster it feels feels part of like that's their home but yeah it's very difficult to categorize um yeah wow so hang on one it's thing the special source the special source yeah i wouldn't wouldn't tell if even if you could figure it out <laughs> we've also got actually magnus we've got something of magnus renforces here that that we that uh you wanted to share could you tell us a little bit about that before we play it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a very, very fun thing that happened not long ago, and I've just been dying to tell someone. Um, so we've, we've just, uh, we're just getting up and operating over in the US, and we've got some brilliant reps over there, we've been sending some really fun scripts, and, uh, and Magnus has been doing quite a bit there. He's been really, uh, uh, the market seems to be responding quite well to him. Um, and so he had a big pitch recently, he was putting his heart and soul into double-checking every 
word for spelling mistakes, every angle of imagery, and trying to just make it all super nice and beautiful. Um, and then after we had sent it out, I was going through and clicked on the link uh, that he had put in there for the epic split, which of course, you know, for I think a lot of directors, that's that one of those films that's like, I wish I did that one. It's just uh, absolute brilliant. Uh, and so he included a link to that. Uh, and then I clicked that link uh, and saw that he had sent this film over. Here we go, and this is the this is the link. I've had my ups and downs, my fair share of bumpy roads and heavy winds. That's what made me what I am today. Now I stand here before you. What you see is a body crafted to perfection, a pair of legs engineered to defy the laws of physics and a mindset to master the most epic of splits. How did that? Uh, how'd that go down? <laughs> we, this is the beauty of it: uh, is that we we don't know. <laughs> we win the pick. Uh, I don't think that's a result of this um, as much as we wish it was. But it was that kind of thing that I, I, I sat there at first and thought, you know, given given the way that hobby directors are, I thought, was that intentional? Was that? Uh, yeah, it feels a little bit cheeky. Work in the past. Yeah. Uh, and then I checked that with him, uh, and he, he was just like, oh, shit. So, I no! Um, and then we thought about, oh, do we reach out to the agency now and say, hey, look, here's actually an updated version, or, or if you click that link, uh, that wasn't meant to be the right one, it should have been this one. And then at the end of the day, we just thought, uh, maybe they haven't clicked it, we'll just, we'll just wait and just see. Go with if it. they do, uh, hey, it'll be fun me. Uh, and it was yeah. never discussed. Yeah, so long as nobody on the spot, team did it. <laughs> I heard something the other day that I thought was beautiful, uh, and it was, you know, I used to I used to cough to cover my farts, and now I fart to cover my coughs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing! Thank you so much, Tom. We really appreciate really appreciate you sharing those things with us, and um, hopefully, we'll uh, have you join us again. I know that you have limited time, especially because you're. Um, trying to manage everything you've got going on with uh, with <laughs> at home with your family um, so yeah thank, thank you and I hope you come back again uh, I know you've got lots of things in the mix that are, um, you can't really talk about with hobby but it's very exciting times uh, you look, the, the future's looking good right we hope so we hope so well, let's see what tomorrow brings um, it was lovely <laughs> thanks for having me guys it was lovely to be a part of this I'm a big fan of what you guys are doing so it's uh, it's wonderful to be here to share oh, thanks man uh, we thanks really so. appreciate it and uh, everybody uh, find Tom you can find Tom either on the dots or Instagram or uh, LinkedIn whatever go ahead go ahead and add him go ahead and add him I'm sure he'll definitely say yes won't you Tom you'll say yes do it. I'm in desperate need of uh, communication and friendship right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, we all. There we go. He's, uh... Come on, too strong. Yeah. Do... <laughs> there he is. There he is. He's... There he is. Get, get on him. Get on Tom. Thank you so much for joining us, Tom. I really appreciate it. And we'll, uh, we'll be, guys. be in touch. Well, uh, wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. See you man. later. Bye. 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 That's again Tom Ricard of Hobby Film. Uh, add, add all the socials, all the socials there, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, probably need to switch this to uh, like the settings in YouTube to like mature content or something for the first clips. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the rules so much. Let's let's find out. Let's just see what YouTube 
YouTube says. Uh, let's go to the let's go to the chat. Let's see who's there. Uh, Hassan, hey Hassan, let's get get in. Hassan, let's, oh, he's on. He's on here. You're definitely on here, aren't you? Hassan, Hassan, animator, who uh, has come to our events. Come on, give him an ad. Who else is in the chat there, Ed? Who do you see? Who am I shouting out to? Go what? Uh, I can't decide who Sarah M was. Sarah be. M. Hello, Sarah M. Hello. Hello to you. Kathy Wang. Oh, it's... Love you so much, Kathy Wang. Dane. Hello, Dane, who's Australian and in Berlin. Um, not Canada. We cleared, up, we cleared that up. Yes, I'm very, very glad, glad of that. Who who else have we, have we got there? It's like, I think we got Dane. Bang. Dane. Let's go, Ali. Ali, who I'm going to stop asking to come on the show because it's just bothering her so much. Hello, Ali. Always lovely to have you in the chat, though. Thank you so much. Daisy, Sarah, let's get... Da Daisy's here all the time. Let me just pull up Daisy. Daisy, I, I've forgotten what your handle is. We're just going to have to remember that you're on there. You might actually be... Let's, let's have a look again. Uh, you might be one of these people that are on here. So we are dropping these streams and stuff on the dots here. I'm still getting to grips with it. I make lots of mistakes. But um, if you're on the dots, go on there because all these some of these people are are watching it in the stream right now they might not be chatting but um yeah say hi hi to kaiser bashi billy glow hello billy who does the very end card the little black black liquid thing he, that's from billy uh that's me michelle hi nick aveline kathy wang there's kathy wang hello kathy wang natalie there's natalie natalie from the chat Isabel Herbert from yesterday. Hello, hello. Would love to chat to you anyways. Get in touch, get in touch. Claudio, Lana, there's lots of people. Zora, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Okay, so now um, it is Friday. Uh, we haven't done this in a little bit. I haven't uh, hit refresh on this. Again, the last donation that we had was from Alex Sotovich, who people might know as the hunter-gatherer, creative development, creative development queen, check her out, achuntergatherer.com, find all this stuff there, some of the treatments and things that she's worked on, with some of the films, I, th I think she might have some of the films that, that are completed, they might be actually on here as well, no, uh, oh, maybe they're under here, commercials, I don't know where they are, yeah, 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 you can watch them all there, but she's also, the reason why you should also check her out is because she's just a bit of a big deal. It's a bit of a big deal. Been working uh, working on TV series and stuff as well. You might have Apple TV now. Might want to be checking these things out. Some of these are some of these are in, in the process of being made. But yes, definitely you should follow her. Find her on socials at. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna guess. There we go. Here is her Instagram. Bother her. 121 followers. Pfft, should be more. Should be more. Who else have we got here? Who else? If you guys have your socials and things like that, or you want to be, want us to put you up on this screen, just let us know. Um, so, yes, sorry, I'm going to go back to this. Please don't let me down, guys. I want to see this meter move. When I hit refresh, don't break my heart. Ed. Oh, no. That's, like oh. that's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. What a way to to do a Friday, guys. Last last donation a day ago. A day ago. Five bucks. Five bucks, guys. Uh, Joe Exotic, if you're call. Joe Exotic. Time to double that. Yeah. Carla. Hey, Carla. Carla Thomas of Nomad. Let's, we're going we're gonna to pull up. Carla is going to be coming on on Monday, I believe. Um, hello, Carla. If you, I think you might have emailed me midstream saying something, probably like chickening out or something, but that I'm not going to read that because Carla and maybe some other people from which way from this from Nomad are going to be joining us on Monday for a little little chat, little chat, share some work, have a look at what they what they're up to, what they're thinking, whatever. Uh, so yeah, brilliant. Hi, Carla. You're committed now. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Well, if they won't, you will. Um, also, tell them where is your donation? Where's your donation? Help the homeless. Help the poor. Five bucks. Come on, guys. And then remember to tick 
the thing if you're a UK taxpayer, just take the thing, give gift aid to it. Let's just top this thing up just a little bit. Be very kind and I would really massively appreciate it. So, uh, some things that I, <laughs> one thing that I definitely have done is uh, thanks to Nick Lewis uh, and all this plain space that I'm in right now, this plain negative white space, thought we'd uh, do something with it. So within these cupboards, we'll call this cupboard set number one, two, three, and four over there. The first person to get, there's a, <laughs> there's a seahorse inside one of those things. There's no way you could possibly know, but within these cupboards, the seahorse is. The first person to guess one, two, three, or four will be the lucky winner of this bad boy right here from from our good friends, Michelle and Lisa. Actually, technically from Lisa, but Michelle, my boy, I love you. Love you slash hate you, but thank you so much. Cozy cup, one, two, three, or four. Have your pick. I'll go open up the cupboards. We'll do this thing live later. First person to guess which it's in. Kathy Wang straight in cupboard number three. Anybody else want to get these things? Kathy's claim three. There's still three available. One, two, three, four. What's it gonna be? Let me know. Uh, definitely wanna give those away. That's that's courtesy of Lisa and Whimsy and Not Sadetsi. Just staying crafty, locked in. She's not been well. Let's do this for Lisa. Let's do this for Lisa. Again, thank you to our supporters who, Tom and Hobby Film, I actually wanted them. They've been great from the very beginning. Uh, what else have we got? What have we got coming on? Cupboard number seven from Nick Lewis, who thinks he's hilarious and again is probably trying to win. Uh, something that he shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> um, what's happening here? Which cupboard, guys? Come on, guys. Literally got one guess. If Kathy's wrong, you want to get it. And get it. Meanwhile, in the in, while we wait for that, I'm going to be talking about our other supporters, Five Points, which you can find a promo code f to buy some beers. You spend 50 pounds? What is it, Ed? You spend 50 pounds, get 20% off. The promo, 20%. Twenty percent off. The promo code is before that, they run out. Before they run out, yeah. They're, of course, of the current situation, they cannot produce more. So you kind of want to get in there. And and yesterday, I went to go buy some. I was like, yeah, I want to buy some pills. I was a bit. Oh wait, it's it's no longer sold out. So now you can you can buy some. I'm going to buy some later using that promo code. It's not for us. It's for them. Keep. Let's support our local businesses, local breweries. Everybody who's been to our events before, you've drunk these things or you've walked away with cases of them uh, for free before. Buy some beer. Share them out. We got a wonderful range here. Also, we got some sweet merchandise, which we're going to be asking Cal to give us some, so we can give some of it away because it's really cool. Especially those bags. Love a tote bag. Who doesn't love a tote bag? Ed, do you love a tote bag? Oh, I've got so many tote bags. So, yeah, but. But because you love them, that's because he loves them. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Because I keep buying them. Because you keep buying them. Well, anyway, because we're not going to have any other guesses, I'm going to go and open cupboard number three. I'm not going to show you what's in it because it's embarrassing because this is my loft. So let's uh, do, let's hang on one second. Let me go do this. Wow. Cupboard number three. Is that what it's going to be? No one else has suggested one. Nobody else has suggested anything. Oh, shit. Kathy Wang, Kathy Wang, what's this? Oh, it's a little, you can't really see it, but it's a seahorse. It's one of my prized possessions. <laughs> so Kathy Wang, you are the pro you are the winner of this week's cozy, <laughs> this week's ridiculous cozy cup challenge. This, there it is, it's over there. I keep switch, switching sides. Um, let's see, I'll do this one. There we go, ah, there it is, cozy cup, right. And then the second prize I'm gonna give is to Best Chat, which right now, <laughs> Kathy Wang, after all the money, yeah, again, just to go back to the fundraiser, after all the money that Kathy Wang has given us here out of her own pocket, like, I think it's 70 quid or something, you guys could just kick us a fiver. Come on, guys. If, if you feel this show is worth it, and you give a damn about people who have nothing, they don't even have the internet to watch terrible things like this. Please donate. They can't even enter these questions. They can't. To win. They can't even, they can't, the people who need a cozy cup the most can't win it. So let's donate some yeah. money to them. So also this, so just this week for the best community contributor, best community contributor, gonna give the other cozy cup to, the owl cozy cup. 
because pff, cool because there's a lot of people and like it, this whole thing is just about um you guys contributing things and we really appreciate coming down so uh we will announce that at the end try to try to drop some great bands and things there um any is there anything else what am i missing ed what am i missing what am i forgetting here um i think were we gonna do oh i, I had an idea uh-huh just hit me on this oh yeah um been seeing some pretty hot memes coming through in the uh, oh my god isolation period oh okay um, i just want to see it's uh, people's thoughts on their favorite people's so, uh, let's th- favorite meme favorite isolation this is a bomb best this is an absolute bomb waiting to go off if people are just drop and hot memes is oh damn you know what oh there hassan you guessed number two it was wrong anyway but also how hard was it to, was it to make that choice like uh, what pick a number you guys really labored over that insane <laughs> um yeah in the meantime uh i would like to thank our special guests that we've uh had this week uh joe apps and tom ricard of hobby again if you missed uh joe's episode which is the last one i would really recommend uh going back and checking it out uh and that's her website not just uh, a lovely person but also extremely talented and wonderful you should go and check her work out um or in all different categories um a shout out to you guys as well um and uh, uh our contributors again jeremy mansford he's got some new stuff out let's check him out he's got some new uh youtube workout go check him out go follow him amazing uh billy glow thank you so much again for the end card and uh father who did the little sound design for our you want to call it a mnemonic the logo this little bad boy this thing a whole bunch of these They just did a whole bunch of those things for us a long time ago. They're really, really amazing guys. Go definitely go and check out their work. Right. So uh, there's no steamy memes. There's no steamy memes coming in. Send us the memes. We'll check it out next week. Next week, as I said, we will have Carla Thomas uh, as well as some other guests. I might might do another stream later on or something and just pick through and just share some stuff that we think is pretty cool and interesting but uh, otherwise i'm not going to stay on too long because uh, i think people just get really bored um so ed i'm going to let you pick best contributor very quickly for the owl cup the owl cozy cup go are we going for like to- in total i would say this week it's going to be a week this week this week i think uh, i think dane armor deserves some kind of dane armor Dane Armour's a solid, solid guy. He shows up every time. He does show up every he's, time. He's got that bat. That that is true. That is true. He's uh, he's not who I would have picked. But uh, Dane Armour, you are now the proud winner to walk around, strut around Berlin with your cozy cup wrapped around any I don't know a soup or a coffee or um, could be a cold beverage. You could just be sensitive to temperature. Like, Maybe not strolling around Berlin either. Not right now. Yeah. Uh, I should also caveat that these, these, I can't actually get these for a little bit because uh, Michelle and Lisa are in isolation at the moment, but they promised to get it to me. But congratulations to Dane and Kathy. You guys, love you guys. Um, Although I am also going to go back and check if Dane has made a donation, because if Dane Dane, you, Dane, now that you've won something, you better make a donation. <laughs> uh, Let's go refresh. Let's see what's happening. Going to break my... Here we go. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. Wow. Thank you so much, Nick Lewis. <laughs> Our own Nick Lewis donating. Thank, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Hassan, thank you very much. I know this, these aren't small. Five pounds, Nick Lewis. Five pounds, I mean, he... I feel like he's taking the piss. Yeah, there we go. Hassan, 20 pounds. Namaste. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Anonymous, I don't know who anonymously donated, but you're probably in the chat here. Um, don't be anonymous. Just, uh, although it's beautiful to it's be creeping, anonymous. It's creeping up. It's creeping up. We're, we are going to get there. 
what we do when we get there is like we'll stop streaming i tell you what guys that should be your incentive we will stop streaming i will i will be off here maybe we'll actually put somebody else on uh if we reach a thousand pounds so there if you need an incentive it's to just get me to shut up um it's like speed yeah <laughs> Ross is the bus. Ross the bus, yeah. I am 60 miles per hour. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, I think that's it. I think I need to say goodbye now. Bye, right, guys. Yeah, have, a, have a good weekend. Have a, have a good weekend. Huh? Cheers. Clink. Let me know if you want. It's like, drop me, drop me a message. I'll chat to you guys later. I'll see you. Bye. Bye.